Okay, we'll now begin the Tennessee press conference. Coach Harper, if you could begin with an opening statement, please. Yeah, obviously I'm disappointed that um, we didn't get the win. I'm, uh, you know, I'd love to have continued to take this team um, on the journey that we were on. And um, again, playing their best basketball at the end of the year, they were a lot of fun to, to coach. Uh, but just, um, just didn't have, have what we needed today. Um, obviously, NC State's a really good basketball team. We knew that coming in. And, um, but I'm proud of my team. Obviously, there, there was a lot of fight in that in that um, w on on that team, and um, I'm just really proud of who they are and who they've been all year. Okay, thank you, Coach. At this time, we'll open the floor up for questions for the student athletes. Once again, questions for the student athletes. Let's go up front here, Sully. Rikia, just what will you remember about these two years at Tennessee, finishing off your college career? Um, I'm just going to remember the good times at Tennessee, um, the way that Tennessee molded me into the woman I am today. I'm just grateful to um, have Kim here, and I feel like I made the right decision. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay, let's go on the aisle there. Tamari, I'll pose the same question to you. What does it mean the past couple of years to get to play with Rikia and Jasmine and then also at Tennessee? Uh, yeah, uh, about the same as what Rakia said. I um, feel like we're a big family. Uh, we've been through a lot together um, this season, especially, too. So uh, just knowing that we had each other's back out there and we'll fight for each other made it really special. Okay, let's go to Core on the side. Um, if both of you guys can answer this, just uh, Rakia, you're on to the league after this, but what about this group that's coming back? Um, what have you seen in them that makes you confident in you know, them stepping into bigger roles next year and, and leading this program? Rakia, could you go first? Um, just how, how hard they go in practice. Um, I feel like they're vets now, even you know the young ones that's coming in. I feel like everybody just comes in and do their job, and we push each other day in, day out, so they're going to be dangerous next year. I'm excited to see it. Tamari, do you have anything to add? No. All right, any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, we've got some Zoom calls. Uh, Lindsay, do you have a question, please? Hey there, my question is actually for Kelly, so I can wait. Okay, I'm sorry, all right. Uh, Jack Church, do you have a question for the student athletes? Um, yes, Tamari, what was the change from the second to third quarter that allowed that allowed you to be so effective going into the second half? Um, I think just staying locked in on the defensive end. Uh, gave up 25 points in the second quarter to our third and in a nine in the third quarter. Um, so I think just coming back out, knowing that we had to fight, and it started on defense with getting stops. Okay, Maria, do you have a question for the student athletes? Yes, a, a question for Tamari. Tamari, I know you have options in front of you and need to decide what's next, but in the short term, do you do you look back and are you proud of yourself for getting back this year after what happened to you? Um, yeah, um, I feel like uh, together as a team, I think we just we've all been through uh, so much in this year, last year. Um, so just knowing that. Uh, we were all able to rally together um, and keep playing for each other. Um, made this group really special. And, and then a follow-up for Rakia. Rakia, I know this you know, loss is difficult right now. Obviously, you have a lot in front of you coming up. What do you think are your biggest takeaways from your time at Tennessee? I'm um, just growing on and off the court. All right, are there any other questions for the student-athletes? Okay, ladies, thank you very much. You're excused. You can return to the locker room. All right, at this time, we'll open things up uh, for questions for Coach Harper. Let's just go ahead and get uh, Lindsay. Are you still there? I am. Thank you. Okay, go hey, ahead. Kelly. Great season. Can you talk to us about what the official said when NC State called that timeout? You thought that you guys uh, had already grabbed that steal. Um, officiating has been a pretty hot topic this season across the country, and I'm wondering what they told you and if you want to comment on it. 
Um, yeah, I, I was just told the uh, whistle got blown before the ball was inbounded. Um, I don't know if they checked it. At, um, I asked them to check. I'm not sure if they could. Um, you know, for us, the games aren't just singular. You know, um, we had that same situation earlier this year, and it was the reverse. Uh, I was calling a timeout, whistle blew, uh, but they didn't give it to us. So that was what, honestly what I was saying. All right, do we have questions in the room? Let's go to Cora, and then we'll get you, and then we'll get Aaron. Um, this game got really tight at the end. You guys were, you know, fouling to extend the game. Um, Rakia Jackson only gets one field goal attempt, I think, in the last three minutes. Just what was NC State doing maybe to keep her from getting that? And, and, you know, why weren't you guys able to get her more looks near the end? Yeah, well, they doubled her, and Jewel got open, made a shot next next time down. Um, uh, one of the one of the next possessions we were trying to get her the ball and and we just didn't see her and I think part of that was their on their ball pressure on the ball. Uh, obviously, we're trying to get her the ball. I mean, everybody in the gym knows it. Okay, let's go here and then we'll get Aaron. When you look back on the season, a few years, what do you think you'll remember from it? Yeah, that's what I talked to the team about in the in the locker room. Um, man, this is not this has not been. Um, not been easy for them this year you know they they went through a lot um a lot and you know the with injuries combined with um some tough losses I'm telling you it would have broken a lot of teams hands down but um they they believed in in their staff and they believed in each other and they continued to work hard and um and push and the result isn't the result that we wanted um but the result was we were playing our best basketball late uh, unfortunately maybe not today but we've been playing really good and i think we i mean we can be proud of who we ended up where we ended up and that's you know that's what i'm gonna remember and obviously, if maybe some things went our way, maybe a ball bounce our way in November, like two, two possessions in November, we're hosting right now, you know, and that makes a difference. But um, so it's, they, they continue to fight, and I'm proud of that. Okay, we're going to go to Aaron, and then we'll get Cor. Hey, hey Kelly. Um, the South Carolina game was such a just a, a gut-wrenching loss, but – you guys showed a lot of fight in that one, and then here you are a few days later, a few games later, you're down 20, and you get it all the way down to two. Kind of what what do you think was sort of goal, what was going through your mind and sort of the way the players were responding in those moments that they had done it before getting out of a hole and were flirting with doing it again and on the road? They, they've, they've done it a lot this year. Um, they've, they've been able to wipe away a lot of big leads, and um, I think they – one thing that – that has always helped us. We, um, our emotions rarely get the best of us. I mean, we stay pretty even killed. Um, and then, you know, our our adjustments. The the team can make adjustments. They they do a good job going out and continuing to fight and continuing to execute and not trying to hit the home run play, but just chip away, chip away, chip away. And I think, you know, there's no panic with this group. They they just. Um, uh, They've been pretty steady in, in a lot of adverse situations this year. Okay, let's go back to Cora. It feels like the junior class really kind of came into their own this season and their roles, especially today. You know, when Kaya went in that third quarter, she completely changed just the energy of the team. You know, Sarah being a consistent contributor as a starter and Jillian, um, and obviously Caroline too, but just for you, um, what about their development and what they've shown you this season gives you confidence in them leading this team and stepping into big roles next year? Yeah, I think, um, you know, they, our players have had a lot of, our returners have had a lot of big game experience this year. Um, you know, they they played in some tough games and some tight games and some physical games. And, you know, they're they're very experienced. They're, and, and they're very motivated. I mean, they're, that is some really hard working players. I, they, they just, 
well, they get in the gym. They put in a lot of time. They want to be good. They want to be coached. Um, so to me, you know, you've got the experience and, and the work ethic with a lot of our returners. Okay, let's go to the Zoom calls. Jack Church, did you have a question for Coach Harper? Um, yes, Coach. Only, only eight points in that second quarter. What was NC State able to do well, and what was Tennessee unable to do to create good shots in that quarter? Yeah, I, I tell you what, our, our offensive execution um, today was um, not where I wanted it to be. At the end of the day, you know, 72 points is probably not bad against NC State. And, um, it, it, you know, at the end of the day, it was probably more of our defense. Um, but our, our offensive execution wasn't where I wanted it to be. Um, and, and I'll tell you, I will give, I'll give credit to um, – to Reynolds Coliseum, it was it was very loud, and our team had a had a difficult time communicating um, our, our sets. Uh, it, that happened several times. Uh, second half was a little bit better because they were in front of us, but um, you know it was a, it was tough in that first half. Um, you know we I didn't think we executed great in the first quarter. Uh, we just made shots um, when we didn't we didn't get those same shots in the second. Okay, staying with Zoom, uh, Lindsay Schnell, did you have a question for Coach Harper? Yeah, Kelly, I had a quick follow-up for you. You said, you know, you weren't sure if they went to the monitor and uh, checked that. That happens a lot in late-game situations. I wondered, have you ever thought about or wished that in college basketball you had one challenge the way that they do in college football, you know, and you could challenge almost any call, and then if you – lose it you lose a timeout but maybe it could change some things yeah I've, I've thought about it we've thought about it a lot recently um and you know I'm, I'm sure there's some implications that I haven't thought of but right off the top of my head I think that that's something that could be a positive I know they don't want to slow the game down but I'm telling you in some of these tight games you you, you want to make sure you get it right and um you know the um I wouldn't mind seeing that now you might explain it to me, and I might change my mind later if there's some implications <laughs> I haven't thought about. But I think we were actually discussing it as a staff um, this weekend, um, talking about having a little red thing that you throw out on the court. Not really, but, you know, making it like football. Thank you. Uh, Maria Cornelius on Zoom. Do you have a question for Coach Harper? Yes, please. Coach, uh, the replay shows that the ball was in play already had taken a bounce and was in play on the court when the timeout Thanks. was granted. I know you can what if these things to death. I go back to the missed travel call against South Carolina with 3.8 seconds left. I mean, you can't linger on them because they're done, but just how hard is it to stomach the fact that the outcome of two postseason games was possibly altered by either a missed call or a bad call? In these games, these teams are really good. And one mistake, one missed shot, one missed assignment, at any point in the game can change it. Let's go to the aisle. <clears throat> Coach, can you just kind of sum up what the senior class meant and obviously Ricky and JP who are out of eligibility? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Obviously, um, I think, man, Jasmine Powell has uh, – to go from what, what she um, – how she played last year and then to have the load that she had this year, especially when Destiny got hurt, uh, she had a lot on her. And I'm really proud of her and how she, how she performed. She had, a, she had an injury that kept her from doing an awful lot. Pe people don't even know all that. But she, um, she's been tough all year, and I'm so proud of that. And then – Obviously, Rakia is special. I mean, just special. Uh, so gifted. Um, you know, and when you get a chance to watch her play, you watch her in person, um, she's just so talented. I mean, she's one of the best players in the country. She's that good. Um, and, you know, deserves every accolade that she gets. Um, and... Probably some she doesn't get, 
to be honest with you. So she's, well, she's super talented. And that's been, it's been fun. Um, it's been fun for me a, as a coach to, to, to move the pieces right, and to, to put them in the best position to be successful. When you have a player like Rakia Jackson, it gives you so many options. Okay, we're going to get core, and that'll be the last question. You just talked about, you know, Rikia, the basketball player, but I'm thinking of the SEC tournament um, press conference. You were really emotional, and, you know, Jewel did it too, but Rikia just kind of grabbed your shoulder on the way out to comfort you a little bit. Just how would you describe the relationship you've been able to build with her and what that means to you? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of her and um, grateful that – I'm grateful that she chose Tennessee, and I think that, um, like she said, I think it was a great decision for her. And what, you know, hopefully we were able to do for her. Um, she has grown up a lot in the last two years, and um, it, my thought is now that she's walking out, I feel really good about who she's going to be now and how successful she's going to be at the next level. And um, you know, we've, we've worked really hard to try to help prepare her for life, um, as, as we do all of them, um, and, and for, for what's in store for her. And, you know, I just hope that she continues to, um, continues to do what she's doing because it, it is really special and fun to watch. All right. I'm afraid that's all the time we have coach. Thank you very much.